Hello and welcome back. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to service your own lawnmower and if you're capable of doing it yourself you could save yourself some money. But before we go and do that, uh, if you want to go and see some more of my videos uh, please subscribe and uh, give us a thumbs up and hit that little notification bell down the bottom there and then you'll be told when I'm going to be doing some more. So let's go and have a look at this uh, lawnmower we're going to service. Before we start doing the service, let's just tell you a few things that you that you have to do to during the service. If you, if your engine is running lovely, there's no problems with it, and you just think you, it's time for it for a service. Basically, the first things I normally do is give it a good clean, get rid of all this, this inside there. Yeah, so I'll just take this bit out, and you can see there's still a load of dirt inside there as well. <laughs> all it is is just grass and leaves. But if you leave it too long in there, what it does when it gets wet, it composts and it destroys all the paintwork. It rusts it up. So what you do basically do is clean everything, even 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 the back, all around here. If you've got an airline, then that's very, that's very good because then you can just blow it all away. If not, just get a brush or even a paintbrush and just try and paint get that paint out. Just try and brush out as much as you can. So the other things what you do is well is you check the oil and you check you got the level now on the dipstick this one here it's about halfway down you can see where it's at the fall is and you just check that now if the oil is nice and clean just top it up if it's really really dirty which that ain't too bad but I will change it all this and I'll show you how to change it if it does need um, changing the other things you check is your spark plug. Yeah, check the, take the spark plug out. Uh, if it is all dirtied up, just give it a clean. Check the fuel. Um, if it hasn't been run for a little while, check it. Give it a smell. If it stinks, uh, take the fuel out, change the fuel. And the other things that are is the blade as well. Sharpen the blade. I will show you how to take it off, and also lift it up from the underneath and clean the underneath as well that's basically the main things and the cables as well and just check the the recoil uh, pull cord it might need changing if not just leave it as it is so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to be, just take this cover off and just put that to one side And then what it does, it exposes this a bit more of this on here. So all I'm going to do is just, just take some out by hand. Like I said, if you've got a brush, just brush it out. <clears throat> but I've got an airline, which I'm so lucky as well. And also you do, you do in, in the sides of the wheels, each side. So what I'll do is I'll clean these out now and then I'll come back. So on this uh, particular lawnmower, this one's got a Briggs and Stratton engine. But what I do is with all the uh, lawnmowers, I always take the recoil cover off and check the underneath of here because uh, it could be clogged with uh, grass, dust, uh, and what it does, if it is clogged too much, it can sort of help overheat the engine. So we take take this off. On these ones, you've got a 10 mil um, sockets or span uh, nuts on them, I should say, and so I will take these off. It's free, you've got three on this one, you've got one, two and one at the front. So I'll take these off and then I'll show the underneath. I'm lucky myself because I have these power tools which can take these off very easy. And there's one on the other side. And you put the nuts to one side so you don't lose them. And then just take this off. And just inside here, which you can see, there is a little bit of dust. But the main place to look for is around the fins and just inside the engine. So what I'll do is I'll give this a, a little quick blow with the airliner. And you'll see, 
Crush all that away. It ain't too bad. And that's done. So I'll put this back together now and then uh, we'll heat the, uh, we'll start the engine, run the engine and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do the oil change. Okay so that oil now, that engine I should say has been heated up there for about five minutes. Um, please be careful with the exhaust, if it hasn't got the car e guard on it please be careful with that exhaust because it is very very hot. Uh, so all we're going to do basically is you, I normally, you can do this on the ground if you've got a little tray just to tip your oil up. If, when I do have a, a pump which I can just stick the hose in there and it pumps the oil out. If you've got one of those please use that. So all you really do is just tip it up slowly. You might have to drag it back a bit. And it just tips out. And just hold the handle and just let that drip out slowly. It hasn't got to come up fast. There's no rush for it. I mean that oil is looking a bit black now really. It shouldn't really have a, a lot of oil. It's just over half a litre or just under. Sometimes it depends on the engine. So we just let that drain off. And that's it. That's all there is to that. And then just tip this into a bottle. Make sure you dispose of it properly. Um, go into the local uh, tip. Or if you're in America, I don't know where you take the uh, engine oil. But please dispose of it very uh, correctly. It's not very good for the environment if you stick it in drains or into lakes, rivers or anything like that. Next thing I'll do is I'm going to tip it up uh, backwards. You can do this um, outside as well is just get someone to uh, stand on the handle while you lift it up like that or you could put something heavy at the end of the handle and that, that will leave it like that. I mean I'm very lucky I have got uh, a workbench okay so now we're going to take this uh the blade off now different blades have different bolt sizes uh on this one is a 14 mil so i've got a 14 mil socket or you could use a 14 mil spanner and or you if you've got an impact wrench you could use that and that will just come off very very easy but i'm going to show you how to do it yourself uh what you have to do is make sure that this is uh this doesn't go round and round and round because you have to put a piece of block of wood just inside there and all that does that is there just to stop that going round so we get this socket on and hopefully on this one this one should come off nice and easily and you just hold with the mower and give it a tug see like that it's just come off very very easy some of them don't you might have to use a little extension bar or something like that this up and then just and that's it now on this one now this blade it's not too bad it, it could do with a little sharpen it has got some little nicks on there and the same on on this side it has been worn a little bit on this one and I'll show you how to sharpen this by hand but I normally use a angle grinder and you have to sharpen it at the same angle is what the blade is already there doing it which is a 30 degree angle normally so we're going to show you how to do that all right so you can see <clears throat> hopefully you can see these there is some niggled edges on there so this is in the vice now it's nice and solid so if you're going to use a file all i normally do is just gently and make sure you've got the right sort of file to do it Just try and flatten those. Like I 
like I said, I normally use a, um, an angle grinder disc on this, and it's twice as quick, as quick, so if you have got one, do it the same as this. I don't think that file is too good. Oh, here's a better one. So I'm just flatten that off a bit. And then, as you can see, the angle of the of the blade there, it's a thirty percent. Just, just far away. As this one's got the the round edges on this one to get into there just use a half round file and as you can see there it has getting a very nice a lot more sharper than what it is and we'll just finish this bit up here all right so i showed you how to sharpen one side with the with a file now i'm going to show you how i do it with a uh, angle grinder now i've only got like a very light flappy uh, disc on this one and that is all you need so all i'm going to do is you, you might hear a bit of noise or I might even just take the noise out of the uh, video. And there you are with that one very nice it's better than what it was uh, you can see the difference to what a file makes but it has still sharpened it all right so after you, you fold them up what you have to make sure is that the blade is balanced now how are about balancing them you can buy about balancing uh, tools which cost about five dollars or five pounds six pounds whatever it is in your country so what I normally, I normally do is I use this now here um, and basically what you have to do is now that one it's just leaning just slightly down on this side so if it's leaning like that it's out of balance yeah so that means then you have to take some more off of this side until it equals up because what it does it vibrates on the uh, mower and it can bend the, uh, the, the crank on it Right, so I've taken a little bit more off of this side so we'll, we'll stick that on there and as you can see now that is more straighter than what it was before I only took a little bit off the ends and that, that's, that's job done so now we come back to the underneath again now the blades all done and what we have to do is you've got to clear everything off of these because what this, if these ain't cleaned under here what they do is they, they rock the deck and start making holes 
in the underneath and once the dip goes then that's the end of the lawnmower and it's quite easy I'll just use a scraper you should really do this virtually after you've, you've used the lawnmower and it stops it doing it a lot of people don't I don't think a lot of people know but in a way if you do this it will prolong the life of the of the lawnmower give it a good old clean Now underneath, on this one, this is a self-propelled one, so underneath this plastic cover is the drive belt and you've got to take this off because underneath there, which is where all the gears are for the drive, uh, it's, it will be clogged underneath with grass, same as this, uh, you wouldn't think so, it's got a cover, but it does happen and if there is too much in there, what that does, that can snap the, um, the belt off, so I'll get this taken off what it on this one you've got a screw there you've got a screw there and then you've got a, a bolt up there on this one certain one some of them they just have two plastic bolts uh two plastic bolt uh, two plastic bolts sorry two screws or a couple of small 10 mil bolts that's all they have on them so i'll take this off and we'll come back all right so i've took the bolts off so what we'll do is we'll, we'll, we'll pull this off comes off really easy and as you can see inside there it is clogged with uh, grass and also on here so this is all part of the service which should be done when you take it into a, a shop but not all the time it, that happens so we we'll take that off and we we'll chuck all this stuff in the bin and while you're at it just just give that give that a little clean Just great. It takes helps takes the weight of it as well off. These can be very heavy sometimes. These uh, full mows, but especially when you've got wet grass stuck to them, and it only takes a couple of minutes. And the inside, just make sure it's just get the scraper in there. And that's it. So as you can see that is all nice and clean there, it was a, a lot better than what it was. So we're going to start putting these uh, things back together. So we put the washer on there first. And it just goes onto there. And then just put the two screws into there and the bolt and that's back together. Right, so the cover's on. And now we're going to put the blade up, uh, back in I should say. Uh, and what you have to remember on these blades is that this side up, this goes onto the top one. It always has to go into the top one side there. So you, you put that into there. And we do this up. So you've got it and then you get the block of wood if I can find it put the block of wood in there and then so that can't go nowhere well hopefully that ain't going to go nowhere that's it and then get the socket Tighten it up as hard as you can. And that's it. Right, so the blade and all the underneath of the uh, mower is all clean, clean there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the spark plug off. Have a look at that. Um, it probably won't. It, I don't think it needs changing because it does. It does work. But on service, what I do is I always change the part of spark plugs. Now that colour is like a grey colour and that is the perfect colour it should be really and so that, that plug is no good but what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean that plug up and I'm going to put that back. Now, 
what I do is I have got a um, a wire brush which goes onto an electric wheel and which is a lot easier to clean these but all you've got to do with these is just give them a clean with a wire brush there's a lot of oil in that one and that's all you really got to do but I will give this a, a clean on a on an electric brush and it will show you how it better it comes out a little tip what you can do is before you do anything today if you've got any carb cleaner yeah or even any brake brake cleaner give the plug a little cleaning up and that cleans all the oil that's coming out of it and all the carbon which is on it as well but please remember to wear gloves if you're going to use car spray don't let it get on your fingers because it can give you an irritation that's the difference it makes by using a, an electric on a um, bench grinder I've got a wire of brush wall so it's, it's a lot easier to clean those up so it's come up virtually like new so next to do is to check the air filter I mean the top of it is very very dirty take that off and normally if we turn it upside down now if you can see that that is absolutely clogged with oil and dirt so this hasn't been done in a long time we'll take this plastic off it's got loads of oil and grease inside there what you can do is, is it, if these aren't too bad you can wash them in sort of lukewarm water and washing up liquid and give them a good old wash out but what I, I do is is just put a new air filter in which is a lot simpler it can only go in one way on this one and we put that back in what I do is I'll give give the underneath a clean and then we'll put this back together so we'll put this back on so that's done so all there is to do now really is top it up with uh, oil and just generally give the um, outside of it a good clean. What I do is with the outside of the, of the clean on it is I spray it with some WD-40, the deck. Let it just penetrate a little bit and I'll get an old rag and just give it a good clean up. You don't have to do this, but I do because it makes it good, it makes it look nice. Push around the top here, give that a good clean. It gets all the dust off. So I'll finish that, and then we just top it up with oil. All right, so we just top this up now with oil. Always do it very slowly. Oops, I'll just keep that. A little clean right, so that should put that in there for now let that drain through let it settle and then we check it all right so I have checked that it's still halfway through so it does need a little bit more oil in it I won't need a lot I'm only putting bits and bits if you put too much in and then you've got to take some out and you've got to try and tip it up the way you got it uh, the way you did before to empty the oil out which is very awkward so 
so we'll let that settle all right so if you look at it now it is up to almost to the top tip of the mark but there is more oil with it leaking down into the pipe so once that's all settled and that's more than enough so that's all, that is all that needs so there you are on this one that has now been uh, serviced just check the cables that there's no breakages or kinks in them as well as well so it's been topped up with oil it's had a new air filter uh, the spark plug you can change it but that one was fine i cleaned it up which is no good and i've sharpened and uh, the blade and balanced it and cleaned it all underneath everything's been cleaned on it uh, i was going to take it outside to uh, start it again but it is absolutely it's raining outside there now so i'm not going to go out there and get everything wet where it's all nice and cleaned so that's all there is to service your own lawnmower and save yourself some money on uh, labor charges it's, it's quite easy you may think it through the video it's not but yes it is you can do it if you've got the tools and then you can do it so anyway that's all there is from this one so if you did like it please remember give us a thumbs up don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel and hit that little notification bell down the bottom and uh, then you'll be notified when my next video is coming out so until next time cheerio